Essentially, one one of the biggest uh, advantages of Bitcoin uh, is in the way it works. Uh, the way it works is Bitcoin uh, is essentially a large ledger, right? So today, if I open my bank's app uh, and look at my balance, uh, what does that mean? Does that mean that you know one lakh rupees from my balance is actually physically in the bank store? No, it it is just a ledger entry in the bank's database saying, okay, you know. Parin has this much money with us, right? So essentially, throughout the history of trade, uh, what we've been doing as human beings is just keeping ledgers of who owes whom how much, right? So what Bitcoin does is it it has created an entire large ledger of every transaction that has happened from day one to today, right? And that 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 entire information is on blockchain. This brings about a lot of transparency. So uh, when we say uh, you know Bitcoin is not traceable, it is anonymous. That's actually a myth. Uh, Bitcoin is what we call pseudonymous. What it means is uh, every transaction can be traced right to the first block of Bitcoin. Right? But you will only see wallet addresses. You will not see my name out there. So in a way, my identity is still secure. But let's say if the government wants to track all of these transactions, that's absolutely possible, and this is what brings in more transparency. So more people trade in cryptocurrencies. Essentially, all of this is registered on large blockchains. So it brings about more transparency, and with more use cases, we'll see the levels of corruption go down when uh, cryptocurrencies uh, are used in every industry to trade and you know, to conduct business generally.